One minute late, 8.31. Time for prayers from the attic in Compline. Welcome, St. Paul's Church in Nantucket. Here we go up the stairs. Meatball went down already. We doing okay? I think we're on. Hello. We had trouble connecting a little bit. Unstable connections. I hope that's not the case. Look, it's getting dark already. Oh, it's raining out some. You can see the raindrops in the window. Yeah. Raining some. Welcome everyone. Looks like we're on, Ollie. Trouble connecting. We need a stronger Wi Fi out. No, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Oh, who do we have tonight? Er, let me see. Josie. Hello, Josie. Hello, Peter. Peter Barnes is here. Josie Martin is here. Thank you for being with us. Um, Christine, hello, Christine. Miss seeing you on a somewhat regular basis. <laughs> well, Hi, that, Jeff. Send an email blast out tomorrow, Christine. I never got, <laughs> never got to get to talk with Jeff today. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, hello, Debbie. Good to see you. Thank you for spending your swinging Friday night with us. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Debbie, we're down at the Gaza Strip today. There was like six people in the whole beach, of course. It was so gray out here today. But it worked for Mr. Meatball and, and me. We just oh, did it? Yeah. walked way down. Very but good. Let's see Debbie out at the Gaza Strip. Hi, Joseph. How are you? Uh, Joseph, look, I have Hi, my, Lillian. I have my, my Hawaiian necklace on, Joseph, tonight. We, yeah, I looked up the meaning, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Get it, get out of We have our conference call music. I guess we'll turn we it our, off, Folly. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Calling in. You know, that's sort of a, not Lillian, exactly my favorite um, opening tune, but we it's, might it's have familiar, to change Allie, that. It's familiar, it's familiar. Hi, Beth. Aw, hi, Beth. Mwah. Thank you for being with us. Okay, Ali. What's today? Friday. Today is Friday the seventeenth. Seventeenth. Feast of William White, the first bishop of Pennsylvania. We'll talk about a little bit. Wow. And, um, yeah. And what else, Ali? Would you have a busy day? I have a lot of early morning meetings and before <gasps> I get to the. They're on. The, we're on TV. Janet and Pat said we're on TV. You have to tell us how oh, you do that. Oh, they big TV. Yeah, yeah. they have a smart TV. That's why Ooh. I don't have a, my phone well, is smarter than too. me. My smartphone. But we have a, we, we're going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> we're a big screen. I should yeah. have, I should have shaved out. Well, so, so we'll go downstairs so and screen. try our TV. I think it gets uh, Facebook or something like that. Yeah. So. Okay. So what else, Holly? We're ready for Compline, I guess. I had some a lot of baptisms going on all of a sudden. I think that's all right during this phase of the shutdown. Baptisms with, you know, just the parents and godparents or only the parents. And how, Matt's so, gone. Yeah. I have some, some on the beach. I have another one this Friday on the beach. Right. So, um, uh, that's really nice. Given the fact that there are a lot of people that um, are unchurched going way, 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 way back, you know. But um, it's nice that in this day and age, when a... A, a young couple approaches you, people, oh, people of childbearing age, <laughs> say they want to have their kid baptized. That's very, well, that's true. You, that's very that's nice. Because yeah, in like, general, you know, know, don't have a lot of young people in church. That's one of the big people lament about that. And um, but somehow they feel like they want to have their child baptized. And I, very much so. And I think during these times of the pandemic, you know, we're to, we're preaching to the to the choir here, as they say, because. Um, People are faithful people, often church-going people that are on with us. But I think more. Someone was mentioning today, and I forget which meeting it was, Ali, that um, more and more it seems that people are realizing that their spiritual lives, however that plays out for them, uh, is such an important, uh, the most important component of their being, of mm -hmm. their lives, and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they. I think people, um, you know, nothing like a terrible global pandemic and. 
economic worries and you know racial inequalities and all of it to make us to wake us up yeah yes <laughs> to wake us up so it's good to listen i love when jesus says in the gospels those that have ears those that have ears listen right those that have ears to hear listen which is kind of in other words pay attention and uh and i'm going to teach you something now so so we try to listen to jesus those you can have those red letter bibles where the words of jesus pop out at you and uh, some are some really just hit to the heart. Others are a little more confusing. Um, and don't know the context as much. You know, but anyways, that's who we are. Out of the church, the capital C, the church around the world. Okay. Order for comp on page one twenty seven. We're ready to begin. Ready to celebrate. Am I the officiant tonight? Yes, you. I'll did a great job last night. If you didn't watch last night's. Episode of Prayers from the Attic and Conference. Oh, any one of you can Ollie be out the, the officiant. Blue. It's not that hard to do. <laughs> which, which, any our, one of which you our friend can Jeff do said well, we're going to talk about a rota for later in the for the uh, it's easy. later in the off season, as we call it's it, our here in the island. Okay, page one twenty seven. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the, the glory, glory of, of your, your name. name. Amen. Amen. May the mighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and, and to, to the, the Son and, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, can't find your page. I can't get my page turned. Okay. Okay, you have too many post-its. <laughs> sticking together. <laughs> okay, so Ali, the psalm. It is? I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't turn to it. I, I was see. busy doing something else. Psalm 34, it's on page 627 of the Book of Common Prayer, or if you're using your Bible, slightly different translation, but Psalm 34. And I think we're just doing a piece of it, Ali. Verses okay. 1 through 8, 1 through 8 of Psalm 34. Okay. You recognize some of this. I'll pray up to the asterisk, Ali, and you do the second part. Very good. Oh, bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Oh, glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. And delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant. And let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me. And saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him. And he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay, Olive. So now what? You tell me, baby. No, you tell me. I think... Um, <laughs> It's what known as time for scripture. Okay, there we go. Um, it's cute when I was up here with Beth. That was a great episode too. And um, it's like, what do we do next? I don't know. Listen, they look at the prayer book, <laughs> the rubrics of the prayer book, which doesn't oh, say I was exactly nervous. prayers I was in the nervous. attic. In there. there was a lot of responsibility. Okay. They did um, a great job too. It was a very popular, very popular episode of prayers in the attic. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Tonight we're doing. I'm doing. I'm going to read. Doing. Don't, don't doing say it. Doing. Don't we're say doing that. Don't make fun don't of me. Don't make fun of me. 
fun of me. Don't make fun of me. You didn't go for Rhode Island like I did. Huh? Do everything. <laughs> just, you know, going to recite or Another read. Another semantics. I'm going to do a reading from, I'm going to read from the, um. Prophet Jeremiah, Prophet it looks Jeremiah. like. Jeremiah, okay. Um, chapter one. Chapter one, verse four. Now the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, ah, Lord God, truly I did not, do not know how to speak for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am only a boy for you shall go to all to whom I send and you shall speak whatever I commend you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. I saw that, take that to Jeremiah. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a nice reading. That's one of the readings assigned for today, even. I, I look at those often when we're picking our theme and then sometimes they work and um, probably 90% of the time we look elsewhere for inspiration to mm -hmm. what passage we'd have today. But this one I thought was beautiful. Um, we have this, um, we've been one of the vigils, uh, I don't, maybe the um, Christmas time, I don't think it's the Easter vigil, but it's certainly familiar that we have it somewhat regularly and uh, at church. And I love the idea of being um, consecrated. Before you, before you were born, I consecrated you. Right before we were even born, of course, God knows us and, and um, empowers us, consecrates us, anoints us. Like we're anointed in our baptism. I anointed a child uh, yesterday. I'll do anointing in the ocean, bring the oil down with me. As I did a couple weeks ago, just left the orb of oil you know, the, uh, in the sand and washed it off carefully when I came back. I'll leave this uh, pristine anointed, consecrated. And so that's why yeah, often we just use the word consecrated at Eucharist, which we're all missing, of course, during this pandemic time, but we'll have it again going forward for generations um, and consecrated. And then also at weddings is the only other time that I can think of in our prayer book that I use the word consecrated. We ask God to consecrate the couple for the power of the Holy Spirit Again, so blessed, especially because of marriage equality. Um, many, many people um, here with us tonight even, uh, in beach settings and church settings and patio settings on rooftops, asking God to celebrate and that God consecrates loving couples. And those of you that are single out there, uh, my book is open for when you meet Mr. and Mrs. Wright. <laughs> and, uh, and usually it's a church, I have to say, because it's a good place. And... Uh, Consecrate. So I love the idea of being consecrated for our work. Today we celebrate William White, who's um wasn't the first bishop of the Episcopal Church. That's a trick question, Ali. Who would that be? Samuel Seabury is the first bishop of the Episcopal Church. After he broke away from the Church of England, broke away, uh, became independent province of the Church of England. We'll put more polite terms. But then William White is the first bishop. He's the first presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church. And he helped make our system. Do you ever take political science? I think it's called a bicameral system. No, I didn't. The bicameral. Mm -hmm. Bi meaning two. Cameral means riding a camel in the Middle East. Now, cameral house. Um, it's a two house system where the House of Deputies is similar to our House of Representatives in the US. And then the House of Bishops is like the Senate. Mm -hmm. And so the Senate, House of Deputies, work on things separately, they, they come together and they, and they have to, when we vote on convention, whether we're gonna have women priests was a major 
major one, all kinds of things. When they voted to have Bishop Gene Robinson be the first openly gay bishop of the Episcopal Church, um, many other gay bishops before him, of course, first open one, and um, and then all those things we voted, we prayed. I love that we debate things in the Episcopal Church. People have a voice. We even have, we have um, representatives that come from our diocese. Um, they pray about it and then vote. And I've been at several conventions. I was going to bring up some of my buttons from convention, but I couldn't find the good ones. You know, I found ones from like the music ministry, which is important, things like that. But I like the ones that were like straight but not narrow. You know, there was always oh, yeah, a, yeah. we had from previous convention um, in 1994, we had some really revolutionary yeah. ones. But anyway, so the Episcopal Church. And I have to say, um, I grew up in a different denomination and not to, um, I, I don't want to bash that one whatsoever because uh, people are very sensitive, Ali, and they think that if I make any reference to, you know, thank God we have an open table, you know, others don't, or those things, that's a criticism. But I just want to celebrate that we have an open table, that when I first went to the Episcopal Church in uh, Boston, I went with my mother to, to a high church in, in, uh, up at Brown University, St. Stephen's, beautiful, wonderful church. Um, but when I went to Boston Trinity Church, just before I met Ali, and saw a woman priest on the altar, and it was such wonderful preaching, and everyone was welcome to communion. Then I, when I met Ali on our second date, I said, I mean, our second date was church. After we had a nice date at dinner, I said, will you join me? Um, in a few days on Sunday and um, go to church with me. And that's why I was sitting up here in the attic, Ali. And so the Episcopal Church, none of, as my, um, my dear Jesuit friend Skip, that used to be somewhat defensive and say, well, Father Max, none of our churches are perfect. And, um, and sure, I, of course, none of us are, of course. But I thank God that people like William White, William White, of course, now he went to Bishop Seabury, could not get because he wouldn't swear allegiance to the, to the king or queen. Um, he, I think queen at the time, he had to um, get ordained in Scotland, our first bishop of the Episcopal Church, which was in um, communion with the, you know, that's where we traced back our apostolic succession, we traced our bishops all the way back. And Bishop White, though, went to, um, after some years had passed, and we were seen as a province of the Anglican Communion, um, and not too many years had passed, he was able to be ordained by the Archbishop of Canterbury and several other bishops in England. And so I guess he's our first um, non-revolutionary kind of, one that was recognized by the communion uh, bishop. And um, so we thank, again, we thank God. We're not perfect. We have much to do to be more fully inclusive and respond to racial tensions and things like that as a church. And, uh, but we're working on it. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit in our lives doing that. And then finally, we, I wanted to talk about our friend Joseph sent a great photo. We've had other photos too in front of the church, Joseph, of couples that, oh, that we yes. had their wedding. Off, again, often Ali was my Eucharistic minister at those <laughs> weddings. And um, just a wonderful picture because Joseph was out watering in front of the church. Now, one of our, one of our workers at the church, I won't identify what, what mm, his or position yes, was, I... said, Max, you know, if Father Max spent a little more little more time with oh, his flock yes, rather than in the so garden much. it would do so much better but as Joseph would tell you and also my parish administrator Melissa Jackowitz for 10 years put up with me yeah, and, and 10 or 11 years I think it was all, all but it was plenty and she 12. said 12 years with it mm -hmm. and she would say mm -hmm. she, re she realized as I did that the ministry is in the interruptions it's not when you have your planned meetings which I have plenty of and we all do but it's in the interruptions and the happenstance. And so Joseph was out watering and ran into all kinds of people. And I would too. And so maybe if you want me to be, if you want someone to be in the office focusing on just, just the members, the flock, or do you want the shepherd too to be on the sidewalk watering sometimes? And so to interact with people that wouldn't normally interact with, um, That's right. with uh, people That's that would care about out in the community. Yeah, I guess so. Fun. I think so. So anyways, thank, yeah. uh, thank you, Joseph, for keeping it alive, keeping <laughs> hopes alive in the, in the garden. Yes. <laughs> and um, did you want to talk about your necklace, or is that for another time? Oh, sure. Um, you can, Joseph gave me this necklace, and Joseph has his Maui 
Maui man too, Maui in Delaware, our dear friend and treasure, dear brother, family. And so Ali wanted to look up exactly what it meant. I knew that it celebrated creation, but Ali was more specific. It, it refer- the, the Hawaiian fish hook necklace re- represents the deep connection and reverence the Hawaiians have for the ocean. It also represents yeah, strength, it. prosperity, it's abundance, Delaware. and a great and a great respect for the sea. So this is perfect living out in uh, Nantucket where there's ocean all around. I know when you, you need like prosperity just to get a twelve dollar hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Joseph. I love this, and of course, it hangs by my bedside. Otherwise, on my lamp. So it's first thing I see in the morning. So we're gonna sing a hymn. Oh, good Time thing that you hymn. know what you're doing, Ollie, because okay. I had my prayer book out, not my hymnal. What hymnal? What okay, hymnal? so we're on, um, we're on hymn one, five one seven. Five one seven. In the hymnal, maybe blue hymnal. Maybe blue hymnal. Because we're on Nantucket, it's navy blue. That's right, it's navy blue. Um, With pink pages, pink and very blue. Nautical. Preppy, preppy that colors. nautical navy blue. Oh yeah, that's blue. right. Okay. Look at me, I'll enjoy the preppy tonight or what? Yes, you do. Look like a picnic. Uh, okay. Picnic blanket. Okay. You ready? Hand number 517, you said so, Ollie? 517. Brother James Eyre, it's called, Ollie. Okay. And uh, yeah, paraphrase of, of Psalm uh, paraphrase of Psalm 84. Okay. How lovely is thy dwelling place. O Lord of hosts, to me, my thirsty soul desires and longs within thy courts to be. My very heart and flesh cry out, O living God, for Beside thy altars, gracious Lord, the swallows find a nest. How happy they who dwell with thee and praise thee without rest. And happy they whose hearts are set upon the pilgrim's quest. They who go through the desert vale will find it filled with springs. And they shall climb from height to height till Zion's temple rings. With praise to thee in glory throned, Lord God, great King of kings. One day within thy courts excel, a thousand spent away. How happy they who keep thy laws, nor from thy precepts stray. For thou shalt surely bless all those who live the words they pray. Huh, okay. Pretty deep, Ali, for me, but you did a good job. Trying to keep covering the trying base. Trying to keep true to my higher. It reminds higher me, Ali, I want to learn from our friend Kevin. He he sings wonderful Irish. You can't understand the words even. It's like old Irish. Uh, Gaelic. It's Gaelic tunes, which are just so moving. I had him sing at one of the funerals. Oh. And it just speaks to your Do you heart. Sing, oh, Danny Boy? This reminds me of it. No, you see, he sang something that you couldn't understand. Maybe he sang Danny Boy too. He sang a couple of pieces that you couldn't understand the Gaelic, but it was didn't have to know the words. 
Mm -hmm. It hit you. So we're continuing on page 132 in the Book of Common Prayer, halfway down the page. Halfway down, not two thirds or no? Ah, I'd say halfway. halfway. Mm -hmm. Okay. 60% maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heavens, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses. As, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us to the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Here's a prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to thee, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, and we'll be wholly thine, utterly dedicated unto thee. Then use us, we pray thee, as thou wilt, and always to thy glory and the welfare of thy people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. All right. Tonight we have... I'm going to read find our... papers? What? you find little notes? Mm -hmm. I have my prayers of intercession. Um, we pray for Carl. We pray for Angela Ballas. We pray for Ruthie and Brookie. Brookie we saw the other day. We pray for Bishop Alan Gates and his wife Trisha. And we pray for Gail Harris, our suffragan bishop. We pray for Marina and her husband, Richard, and daughter, Sally Ann, their caretaker. We pray for Renee Martini, and we pray for um, Christine, um, our parish administrator and her family, and for Christine. Christine and Joyce, Christine's sister, Lorraine. Yeah. Um, we pray for um, our dear friends that include Mary and Julie and Linda, my childhood friend, and, and Jessica and Rehoboth and Janet and Pat and Blair and Missy and Joseph and Adam and... Um, Joseph's my childhood friend because we're still children. Late bloomers. <laughs> we pray for Pam and Eric and their family. We pray for Normand and Binth and Mary and Julie and yes, Andrew. Normand. We, Especially. we pray for Skylar and Paula, and we pray for those serving in the armed forces and their families. We pray especially for Calic, who just graduated from Army, whatever that first tier of Boot Army camp. training is. You know? It was on Facebook today, so David Christopher. Father, he just graduated? Wow. Yeah, David, David Christopher. Um, Great organist in Delaware. Yes. Yeah. That's we, great. Congratulations to you and, um, and Tino. And Tino. We pray for um, Skylar and Paula. Oh, did I already said ready? them. Okay, we pray. Paula and We pray for Roberto and Aaron. And we pray for the Nantucket Cottage Hospital staff and volunteers and the Fairwinds Counseling staff. We pray for um, all of our homeless brothers and sisters, especially Emmanuel Shelter in Delaware. We pray for the Way Home Prison Ministry. 
We pray for med flight crews and Coast Guard crews and first responders, police and firefighters. We... Pair of staff, Becky's husband, Jerry, who's a local police officer, walks the beaten town. Even. We give a great big um, shout out and happy birthday to Janice Moore. Um, today? Yes, her birthday's today. Um, My dear and, colleague. Yeah. Um, her Chris husband, Moore's Chris uh, wife. Chris was Max's... Um, uh, Seven years as my assistant, yeah. It, yes, great, great yes, and his, his his retirement, he came and helped Max at um, All Saints in St. George's. He was beloved, as as is um, Janice. Stephen Joseph's condo in Maui. <laughs> so Extended happy stay. birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, Janice. Yes. Um, we pray for... Elaine, her nickname. <laughs> we pray for the um, work of the expanding work of the Mission Committee at St. Paul's on Nantucket. And also Community Foundation for Nantucket, I wanted to give a shout out to for all their work in our community, mm -hmm. getting through this crisis mm -hmm. and all times. We pray for children everywhere, children mm -hmm. at risk, children that are in um, war zones and dangerous situations. Um, yeah. No matter what your feelings are, pray for the children. We pray for um, Julie and Matt and all of our essential food providers in supermarkets and grocery stores. We pray for restaurant workers, for chefs, for uh, Justine. We pray for Evan and, Ma and Maria and Angela and Seth and Joe and Jordana and Todd and Susan um, and all of our Nantucket chefs and restaurant workers. We pray for Gabriel our... Gabriel and Mark. And Mark. Course. We pray for our, our dear musical friends, Peggy Megan and Dillon. Sherman, and we give thanks for our music director, Joe Hammer. We And who's the guy out in California? Plays the sax. George. We pray for our... Pat, George our, Young. You pray Great for um, our friend Adam's pastor, Enoch Fuzz of Corinthian Church in Nashville, and we pray Great for um, Jenny's neighbor Sally and Kathleen Wade's cousin and Peter's sister Nancy and and Paul from Madiket and Denise's daughter Thanks, and Jenny. Denise's Peace. sister, and we pray for Sherry's sister and Father Will's wife Ronnie and for Judy and Bob and for oh, got another couple of post-its here. Uh, we pray for Lee in Rehoboth, and we pray for Judy Bruce and Ryan Hingham, and we pray for Bob and Marianne Payne and Rick Olson. Pennsylvania. Okay. Thank you, Ronnie. All right. And and prayers keep you in forward. Hi, Janet. And Thanks, everybody. Mish, Mishka, if I'm not pronouncing your name right, I love it. M I J K E, Mishka. Okay. Yeah, and our cat Esme. And our so, little cat. But she's rallying. Esme. Yeah, she's black cat. 17. Yeah. Okay, Ollie, so what else? 134. I pray for Bo, who was baptized yesterday. And um, I'm trying to think of all the other baptized. Callum, we have coming up baptism in the ocean and one other one, Ali. Oh, uh, I almost had it. They just called recently. Yeah, I just talked. Kelly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Page 134 at the bottom, Ali. Okay. Let's pray together. Mm -hmm. Guide us waking, O Lord, and, and guard, guard us sleeping. sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, who be prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard, guard us sleeping, sleeping, that awake, awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thank you.
Thanks be to God. I don't get the hiccups. I don't, I don't have any water for you. What happened to our glass? That's went okay. down to downstairs. Sorry, Allie. She got the hiccups from our. We had one of our last batches of Nantucket scallops tonight. For scallops freeze so well, so it was, they want they jumped out. Actually, these were from Tom and Bambi. It was such so nice of them. It was from opening day of scallop season. They showed up with these vacuum packed Nantucket based scallops. They are pretty sweet. Thanks, Josie. Thank you so much. And uh, Joyce Morgan too. Joyce, oh, welcome. Oh, Joyce. You're on late, but good to see. Hiccups. She Good has to hiccups. see you. Hi, Josie. Josie and Joyce. Okay, nice so to me... have you here. Okay. Uh, so, did so, you turn oh, so that what's on? Today? It's, it's today Friday already. Again, so we're being, sorry for being a little lazy that we're taking Saturday and Sunday nights off, but look for a Sunday morning at morning prayer, of course. Joe Hammer is going to do music Monday. These days we're on Tuesday through Friday for prayers from the attic, and, um, and then we'll resume things. We, we're working already for a schedule when we um, go back to the full seven nights a week. But thank you so much for all of your wonderful responses. It's such a blessing that, um, that you're in our lives. It's uh, such a blessing for us. Ali, what do you have for us tonight? Okay, so um, I was trying to think of another quiet song tonight that was more uh, you know, religious, thank you, and, Joseph, thank religious you. and spiritual, because we sometimes go off on you know, do, do rock and roll things. tangents. Mm -hmm. So Max and I went to um, Trinity Church, Copley Square, and Joyce, I'm so happy as a That's member right, Joyce is of the, that. Joyce is a member. Of, so I don't know what they do now, but back when Max and I went, they would. That's right, um, the prehistoric ages. Okay. Let when me, William White was bishop. Um, they would exit in the. The, um, the choir would go to the. Right. What is that called after when they proceed? They go to the nave. They process out to the nave, the okay. back of the church. At, at, this is after church was done. And they I think would, they'd go to the corners even. Wouldn't they go they to, would just go around. That was like almost like a half dome. And then the choir would sing this song. And I couldn't find a, a Trinity Church singing this. But I found the Westminster Choir singing it. Yeah, so. second best. But we'll have to, it'll have to do. Okay. And the, it's just a short one. So here we go. This will hopefully set you off to sleep. I will now sing The Lord Bless You by the British composer John Rutter. John Rutter. We love John Rutter. Sweet dreams. See you Sunday morning at 9.30. And 
uh, love you. Thanks so much for joining us. God bless your name and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.